In today's show, we're making a beat inside of Ableton for this stream. I am also using the push two that's in front of me, and I'll do the best I can to show you guys different camera angles. Um, we are also playing with the new guitar from Native Instruments called Electric Mint. Electric Mint. We streamed live on this yesterday, and we're going to do it again today and see what we come up with because I really like this new instrument. I have an affiliate link for you guys, which is available to you in the description of this video. So if you guys like the vibes, you like the way this thing sounds, you can go ahead and click on that link. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It's just giving me a kickback as you make your purchase because... You know why not right like when you when you buy it it's gonna cost you the same you know why 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 let native instruments make all the money you know what i mean you going through the feeling say hey s share some of that with ella you know that's you know supporting me here on, on the channel so i appreciate you guys uh for, for doing that um also um if you are here for the first time please feel free to to um, hit the thumbs up on the video if you're here on youtube please consider subscribing to the channel so electric mint is a session guitar or session guitarist that's the appropriate name by native instruments it's nothing more than a guitar plugin that is made and simulated or sampled after real samples this particular plugin happens to be around maybe 14 gigabytes big you download it from native access that's what we did yesterday live on stream right that was pretty cool <laughs> but uh basically this is just like any other session guitar they are set up the same you get two of these you get the the uh, melody version and then the other version and basically one of them plays a bunch of patterns and you have a, a key. I, I, I still can't remember remember that term, but, but basically uh, you can control things a octave lower. So like if you position your left hand down, you know, all the way towards the end of the, the keyboard, you can uh, change the, uh, the, the pattern type or articulations as, as you will. So that's going between mutes, uh, sustains, or um, the other... And then you have other effects that happens like the um, roll offs or like guitar noises and sounds like that. And then the higher register usually plays different patterns. You go in here and you change the different patterns. You just click here and things are just pretty much sectioned off via genres. So we got funk, pop, EDM, crunchy, basic, whatever, right? Um, here's your typical time signature which is in four four by four but then if you want triplets there's also triplets in here as well but as you can see most of it kind of lives around the four four area you also have effects which is interesting uh, so you just click on it and just play around and see what you like and this guitar basically fits most things that you're trying to do so while this thing provides a way to allow you to play your own stuff in there it also gives you a good idea as to what or kind of give you the the real live guitar player type deal and you just change the chords accordingly you know change the notes up or whatever so So I think I've, I've already. So like if you press one note or one key, should I say, you get a pattern here. Then if you press the second note along with that, it changes the the notes that's played.
change it up here. You know what I mean? And then, of course, like I mentioned yesterday, you have these other tabs that you can click and you can really, really dial in to what you really, really want. Like you can change your pickup style. So. Right. Take it off Dublin. It gives it a narrow mono sound. So to speak, it's still stereo, but it's not as wide. You know what I mean? And then you got your other parameters here, your tune, your volume. You know what I mean? Turn up the fret noises. More more of the uh, delays or decay sorry kind of the same thing the tune it a little bit give it that you kind of hear it a little bit you know what I mean because that's usually what happens on a real guitar a real guitar is not ever tuned perfectly some of those strings go out of tune I know this because I've been I've been in the game for a very, very long time, so I know what a guitar sound like. You know, that's why they carry tuners with them because your strings can go flat. Um, so here you got your different amps. These amps are the same as the other um, effect plugins that that are standalone, like the replica or the the solid compressor. You got the chorus in here. Um, you got the plate reverb. And you can also add or change any of these effects, which is really cool. Uh, some of these effects I have never seen before. But, um, yeah. So these are some of the same concept from the actual standalone effects. Like the dirt. the the um, We got uh, it's another one. It's, it's the dirt was one, of, was one of my favorites. That's why I remember so much. You got the phaser or phases whatever you call it then you got um uh there's another one that i'll use from time to time i believe these reverbs they got two different reverbs in it there's a rc reverbs those were like some of my first reverbs i played with since you know messing with native instruments type stuff so the, the 48 and 24 i believe that's what these two are these are the 20 the 28 i mean sorry the 24 and the 48 so between these two reverbs, that's what they are. But then you got Replica. Replica is like one of my favorite delay type deals. It's, it's pretty cool. I, I like that thing. I, I've used it so many times. And yeah, it's really cool. And I think uh, the rest of this stuff, um, oh yeah, Fair, Flare. Yeah, Flare was one of them. So Phases, Flare, those like standalone. The cool thing about these is that these are some of the same plugs that are inside of the guitar rig. The guitar rig is a separate plug-in by itself. And you can also like throw that on top of this and change the entire tone of these guitars. So keep that in mind. So it's, the, the creativity here is just limitless. And then, of course, you got the playback area where it deals with the performance, like how it's played. You can have this thing to pull or push. You know what I mean? And 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 with with that term right there would be uh which one would that be? That would be the I think it would be the feel or the shift. 
the shift might be that that pull or or they're push, pushing forward, like make the guitar play a little bit ahead, like like they're rushing or they're just kind of like following and lagging behind. That happens for real. <laughs> I've worked with guitar players like that, and I had to always go in and kind of make some edits. But you can actually do it on purpose here to give that real feel because sometimes that you want that push or pull feel. So that's where you would do that. And your latch mode here, just this just deals with how quick the sample ends or go to the next sample when you let go of the key. That's what that is. So you just got to play with that and see how you like that. And like I explained before, this area right here, no matter what tempo you're in, this this section right here makes this plugin even more powerful because you don't have to deal with the pattern as it is. You can just double it up or slow it down. So, you know, you're covered depending on your tempo that you're that you set to here. So that's pretty much the gist of this this plugin. Um, I had to explain it again because I think I will use this video to actually post this separately. <laughs> Yesterday I did a horrible job. I was just so happy about like what it sounded like and I got distracted. But yeah. Let's make a beat using this. Oh, let's push this back actually. So let uh let me see. Let's go. I don't know. Let's see what that sounds like. So melody will allow you to play by yourself. You know. You know what I mean? And then you also have, you still have the option um, octave floor to change the articulation. So it's open right now. So I can say mute. All right. So that's what that is. And, and, in the melody version, most of the controls here is still the same, but you have other options. You can switch it from mono to to uh, poly. Um, like I say, same same stuff here. Same stuff. They're both the same. This section does look a little different, but no, it's the same. Same stuff. Same concept. Yeah, there, there, there is a little difference between, but basically the same. It's nothing, nothing too, too different from here. Also, there is this button here. This is where the other articulations are. If you want that slide or that uh, patterns or whatnot, so you just got to find that section here. So. So like, it's kind of like two and one right here. You can create your own stuff, right? Or you can quickly just, you know, real quick. So these are my articulations. So from C1 to, what is this? E, C1 to E is actually it's, it goes further if you keep if you keep continue to set up well these are the patterns i'm sorry so your articulation stop at d sharp one so from c1 those are all your articulations right and then from e1 it changes the patterns Yeah, and then that, and then your noises. <laughs> so yeah, um, cool stuff here. 
I want to say that the colors, if you have a, a complete control keyboard, the colors are represented on this thing. So it helps you see where things are. And it's very helpful. And this is one of the reasons why I love this keyboard so much because you can also go in this keyboard and set the colors like you want to. Um, you can customize it for like other plugins that you use they may have something else going on what you know so to help you remember where everything is bam you know you can do that there as well but anyway um you got other parameters here obviously like the mic settings the way it sounds you know your crunchy your clean these like your other presets so say you like this here this preset like ultimately the patterns and you know the way that it sounds in terms of like, well, really more so the patterns, to be honest with you. Then you can go here and just change up the guitar sound itself, but keep the patterns, you know, keep it the same. Then you got these other parameters up here. It tells you, supposed to tell you the chord right here. Seem like that one wants to continue to go on and on and on and on. Oh, is it because I got linked on, or is it latch? Hmm. Something I press that has this going on and on and on. Oh, it was me. interesting I'm not sure why it's not giving me the chords right here and then you don't want to miss this area because this deals with the patterns that are played <laughs> so like for instance change it so i need three hands to do this so <laughs> okay i guess i have to do it like this oh i should have kept maybe if i turn on latch uh is there a way to do that no it's not I thought I seen a latch button around here somewhere. Maybe, maybe. Oh, there we go. So. Huh. That's dope. So I changed the voice to. Or changed it to one. It's like it's not working. Maybe because it's in demo mode, maybe. And then, okay, this section right here deals with, it's like an arpeggiator. That's how I, I, I view it. So you could change stuff. Let me see, see if it works if I play this. So that's as far as it's going to go down. I could change where it starts. So that's a, that's another way to customize what you're hearing. You can also change the fret position. Uh, that's dope. 
that there's so much you could do in here. So that's that's what that is. I I mean I can get lost in this here, but that's that's pretty much the gist of that in terms of um customization. So I mean there there are some things that I would like to see made of instruments do. Um it's got this this one thing that um the strings does, or I'll I'll say like hollow body, like I have the hollow body by orange tree, and some of the notes is like you can't play because of the fingering on the guitar and so it kind of like if you hit a certain note or certain chords it totally acts like a real guitar player you know what i mean and um i'll say to a certain extent this does that but not all the way not fully which means when a guitar player hit those notes and like do like the glide into an, another note or bend it's kind of like a bend that's, yeah that's what it is probably the best way to explain it. it's like a bend thing maybe i missed that in here but that would be one feature i would love to see these guitars get that would be my only thing because they already sound pretty good it sound really good but that like going next to a next to a note Like going a step above, like it should bend, like. But not quite, like not not quite like that. It's it's like a, a more of a quicker, like that. Maybe there's something I need to 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 press, um, like. Actually, when I hit mono here, that's the best way I can explain it. But you have to click it to mono to do that. But so, like, when I press, you know, play a chord, it cuts off every note. So I don't want it to do that. So maybe like a, a, a I don't know I, I don't know something that they that they can do is it's probably something I'm missing here but um um I don't know something with that perhaps she had a sitar yeah I, I i guess at certain points it sounds like a sitar but um or is that something you would like to see them do like a sitar is that is that what you're saying No, that's not the name of the guitar that I'm looking for. Definitely not that. So let me show you. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. 
Um, so I guess this will be a good time to show y'all because I know Native Instruments be watching. So it may be, maybe they can um, articulate this this concept. But yeah, that's certainly not a sitar. Certainly not a sitar. So. So I'm going to throw up um, complete control again. What's up, Ron? Two nickels in the building. What up, bro? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about, because I was definitely um, I was definitely comparing the two. I, I say when, when Native Instruments knock this out of the park, then that's th 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 that will be it. That will be it. That will be it. That will definitely be it, because the, the guitar already sound pretty good. So let me let me find. And I, I mentioned that. Before I started explaining that, that if they can do this one thing like a hollow body or not necessarily a hollow, hollow I, I just feel like Orange Street guitars got it nailed. They got it on lock. Though the Orange Street, Orange Street guitars, they're, they're probably the, the closest to getting that real guitar sound as, as possible in like the articulations. Uh, let me find something. Okay, let's do that one. So, I'm loading this one in here right quick. Yeah, it's taking, yeah, it's, it's loading. Appreciate that, Ron. If everybody, especially on YouTube, if you guys are watching and y'all gaining something, please feel free to give me thumbs up. So, here's the hollow body. It's called Evolution, right? It's by Orange Tree. So, with this one here, this one is controlled by Velocity. You know, you got your sustain here. And so between 50 and 127 can be your velocity. And then palm mutes are from 0 to 49, right? So it's like depending on how you how hard you hit the. See, now this is this is this is what I was talking about. So if, if I go like this. start my keyboard because um, I'm getting some crazy sustained action here. Okay. You don't like that? Like that? So instead of doing this, you know, real quick, it's just, so it's acting like a mute, I mean mono. So that's all I'm doing. And, and that's what guitars do, you know, 
but it's not the whole thing. I'm not like totally mono. So I can still press. I get the polyphonic effect. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That's 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 what I mean, and and I and I hope that Native Instruments is watching because that's what I would love to to see them do. And these other effects here, um, I mean squeals and harmonics and um, staccatos, I hardly use those. And those are definitely useful depending on who you are that's using these type of guitars. But this one goes a little bit deeper because it. it you know all of the cool things you can do with a guitar so yeah this thing is this thing is pretty crazy but i do like native instrument stuff they're they're pretty um they dope you know i feel like i feel like it's dope this one also has strums but it's kind of complicated if you it's like you <laughs> You have to sit down and really, really learn this here. Um, but you know, native instrument I do like native instrument stuff. But I won't I will never stop using this, you know, for that. But but yeah. Since we're talking about the um electric mint, we're gonna create stuff with the electric mint, you know. That's what's up, uh spaces. Let me play it from the top. <laughs> See how I feel about it. Appreciate you, Mellow. J Beats, appreciate it. Let me make that transition a little bit better because it's like, eh. 